Can food influence our mental health? Well, the science says yes. And here to tell us how we can eat our way to happy is registered dietitian, nutritionist, and our friend, part of the doctor's family, Carrie Glassman. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you so much. I am so thrilled to be here. All right, so let's jump right in. What's the first food that will boost our mood? And we all want to be happy, right? Okay, so the first food I want to talk about is fatty fish. So fatty fish, such as salmon and sardines that we have right here, are wonderful for your mood because of those omega-3 mm -hmm. essential fatty acids. Essential, meaning that our body can't make them on their own, so we have to get them from food. And they are linked to brain development and cell signaling, and omega-3s from fish oil have been linked to reduced depression scores. And so a great way to get that those omega-3s in is by having a couple servings, a four ounce servings a week of salmon or sardines. And sardines I love also because they're so easy to keep around in cans like that. I know not everybody likes to eat sardines. <laughs> How do you sardines. get the kids to eat them? Well, that's... You, you just make them into a little sauce and then put them into a salad dressing or something because Great they're salty idea. and they won't even know they're there and kids like that salty flavor. All right, Carrie, what's next? Okay, so the next foods are fermented foods. So here we have an example of kimchi, but you can also have sauerkraut. And then I also have yogurt and even pickles. And so you've probably heard of, <laughs> I know, I, <laughs> well, like, I like pickles that. too. You've probably heard that the gut is now known as the second brain. And that's because the bacteria in the gut actually communicate with the brain and they also create neurotransmitters. Actually, 95% of the serotonin that you make comes from the gut. Now, it, we aren't 100% sure how that serotonin links to mental health, but we do know that good gut bacteria is linked to reduced stress and anxiety and is also linked to less incidence of depression. So how do you get better bacteria in your gut? You have foods like these probiotics right here. And then you also want to focus on some prebiotic foods, which you can find in things like garlic, onions, oats, and even Jerusalem artichokes, and lots of fiber, fiber foods to feed your gut bacteria. So what if you have a sweet tooth like I do, uh, a little dark chocolate, or what else would you recommend? So dark chocolate is a great one, but also I have here berries raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and that is because chronic inflammation we know is linked to so many unhealthy conditions and diseases, but also it is linked to major depressive disorder. So one of the best ways to fight inflammation is by having lots of antioxidants. So berries have lots of anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are what make the berries those beautiful colors, right? And anthocyanins fight the bad guy compounds in your body that create inflammation. So if we can get lots of these antioxidants in, we can reduce that inflammation and reduce our risk for depression. Yeah, that's great. You can even combine it with the yogurt too, right? You can get Absolutely. both at the same sure time. Can. And if you don't have them fresh, keep them frozen and then throw them into a smoothie in the morning. And exactly. kids also like that instead of popsicles, little frozen berries. Perfect idea. You heard it here. Berries are very good, right? <laughs> well, we know they're a great source of vitamins. They may even help decrease signs of skin aging related to sun exposure. So. That's another good good reason to eat those berries. All right, Carrie, you are on a roll. Let's hear it, last but not least. <laughs> okay, one more, nuts and seeds. And here we have walnuts and almonds and pistachios, but most nuts and seeds are great for your brain health and mood as well. So first of all, loaded with protein and healthy fat and fiber, which we already said was good for your gut health. But uh, the amino acid tryptophan in nuts also helps produce serotonin, which is that feel good hormone. Also, nuts and seeds have zinc, and most nuts and seeds have zinc and selenium. And a deficiency in zinc and selenium has been linked to a higher incidence of depression. So you want to make sure you're getting in that zinc in, uh, and selenium. And then also, one long-term study showed that a moderate consumption of nuts, and that was one serving a month to five servings a week, so there was a range there, um, reduced your chances of being depressed by 23%. So you got to get those nuts in for so many different reasons. And those are the easiest things to snack in or also throw on that yogurt with those berries as well. All together, right? You might you not want it. the kimchi in that mix. <laughs> or the sardines. <laughs> or the sardines, but you can, you know, mix some of these foods together. But lots of lots of these foods to improve good your mood. Good for you, yeah. You don't have to remember selenium and tryptophan and all that good stuff. Trust us, it's good for you, right? Well, Carrie Glassman, it's always a pleasure to have you on our show. You came loaded with good <laughs> tips. And for more information, you know where to go, thedoctorstv.com.